Rome claims to be the birthplace of the Kelpie, and this weekend thousands of visitors have again poured in for the annual Kelpie Festival. The working dogs compete in events like a high jump and a hill sprint, while others are sold for thousands of dollars at auction. Reporter Beck Wesson is there. It's a town of just 2,000 people, but this weekend, Casperton's population has exploded to around 10,000 for an event which has grown into a global institution. For many, it's a pilgrimage, something that started 23 years ago when the one-day auction began. Back then, it was a bit more of a subdued event where Kelpies were sold off the back of a ute for a few thousand dollars at best. But over the years, it's grown into a three-day affair with more people and certainly more money exchanging hands too. This year, the top dog sold for $15,000. Not quite up to the world record of $22,500, but pretty close. Yeah, I'm actually yeah, not, not that excited at the moment because I'm going to say goodbye after the last thing. While not everyone is looking to buy a new best friend, there is plenty of action to keep the masses of dog fans happy. Crowds love the high jump, the sprint, street parade, and of course the popular hill climb, which sees Kelpies run up a steep hill to the famous Casterman sign. Not all Kelpies compete. There's been all different breeds out for a wander. I've even seen baby farm animals. It's a very inclusive event. Away from the festival, there's also the new Australian Kelpie Centre, which opened a year ago. The council says the number of visitors to town has more than doubled since the centre opened. So if you miss a chance to come down this weekend, you can always come back to Casterton for your Kelpie fix all year round.